But first, two arrests made in the violent attack of a 71-year-old Sikh man. Everybody go with us. That's a real, real, really good. I appreciate for everybody that they are with us. And we start with those new developments unfolding tonight in the Sikh attack investigation. As we said, two arrests have been made. I want to show you one of the suspects, an 18-year-old man, Tyrone McAllister, the estranged son of a Bay Area police chief. The other suspect arrested was just 16 years of age. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Christina Janes. Both suspects were caught on camera kicking the elderly Sikh man repeatedly, knocking him to the ground and then spitting on him. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is live in Manteca, where the victim's family members say they're relieved. Carlos? Yeah, not only was the family surprised that the two teens were identified, but that they were arrested so quickly. They're also shocked that one of the suspects is the son of a law enforcement officer. 16-year-old Tyrone McAllister and his 16-year-old friend are now in police custody. They face charges for beating a 71-year-old sick man from Manteca. He got he gonna you know pain here and pain here too and big back pain too. The incident was caught on camera from a neighbor's surveillance system. It shows McAllister kicking the victim repeatedly and also spitting on him. Loved ones are relieved an arrest was made. The news is really good. The Manteca police do really, really good job. And all the Mandika mayor and everybody do a really good job. And that's really good for us, for our community and all our community, you know. Police confirm McAllister is the son of Daryl McAllister, a police chief in Union City. Investigators say the relationship between the police chief and his son has nothing to do with the case. Neighbors say they are shocked hearing the suspect is related to a police chief. Wow, that's crazy. I mean, he probably should have followed his father's footsteps or something, you know? That's crazy. Nah, kids need to do, find something else to do. I mean, during the summer, they should be doing something else instead of just hanging out around and just looking for trouble, you know? Court records show Tyrone McAllister has been in trouble with police before with a battery associated with petty theft charge. Police say this was an isolated incident and crime in this area really doesn't happen often. My brother, my sister, and my mom walks around the park too, and now I feel safe not knowing that, not the thing in my head, thought in my head that there's someone out there that could hurt them or do something to them. Now, both teens face three counts each, attempted robbery, elder abuse, and assault with a deadly weapon. Now, the police chief did issue a statement on the police department's Facebook page. We'll share that with you coming up today at 6. We'll see you then. Carlos Correa, live in Manteca. Carlos, thank you.